Hey guys, it's Jason from LA. <laughs> Today I'm gonna go over the gear I take with me when I go do street photography and the gear I have used in the past and still sort of use to this day. Uh, so let's get right to it. Uh, the only thing I take with me or the only camera gear I take with me when I go do street photography is this camera right here. This uh, is the Nikon L35 AD and this is the only thing I take with me. <laughs> and some rolls of film obviously because um, I do I do shoot with a medium of film photography. That's, that's basically it. This is the only thing I take and a few rolls of film. I don't need to take anything else. It's, it's simple as that. You don't need to take a lot of gear with you when you do street photography. You want to keep it as simple as possible. This camera is great because uh, recently I ran out of batteries on this camera and I just went to a CVS and bought new batteries. They were very convenient because it takes two AA batteries so you can find them anywhere in any store. Uh, I was going and uh, taking photos in downtown LA earlier this week and I, the battery ran out and I just got new ones. You can change the ISO, the ISO speed here. The 200 goes up to a thousand ISO. It also sort of has autofocus and it auto rewinds. It's 35 millimeter. It has a flash, a built-in flash. It has a self timer right here, which I hate the self timer thing because uh, uh, I always accidentally turn it on. I'm like, why isn't it taking a photo right now? Why isn't it taking a photo? And then I realize the self timer is on. So um, it has an on and off switch. This is not a camera gear uh, review, so... So this is the camera that I've been using for 6 plus years, almost 7 years now for street photography as well as other photography like portraiture photography or nature photography but this, this camera, this is the Nikon F3 It was designed by a Ferrari uh, designer and it has the, the, the signature red line here and this Nikon F3 has been handy. I this is actually my second one because I broke it like five years ago. Oh, somebody else broke it. Somebody dropped it five years ago, and I had to get this new one. But so I guess I've been using this for five years. But um, I have the Voigtlander 58 millimeter 1.4 lens on here. It's very, it's a very nice lens. Voigtlanders make very nice lens. Voigtlander makes very nice lenses. It has. A shutter speed of up to 2,000. I have a little uh, shutter release. What is this called? Uh, shutter button. <laughs> the wooden one. I have it here. I got this a long time ago. When I first started shooting film, I I bought this. Instead of having a film back uh, film box uh, part in here, I, I just have no film or film in to remind me. I don't care about the ISO. I mean, I just, I look at the ISO when I put it in the camera. Yeah, overall, this is a great camera for almost anything you want to do. Street photography, nature photography, portrait photography, boudoir photography. <laughs> I don't know, but um, this is a great camera. It's a, these, these Nikons are tanks. They last years. I mean, they've been made in the 80s and th that's like 40 years now and they're still working great. They, they do not break. I've had some other cameras that a lot quite a bit of cameras that I've used for street photography and They've broken quite a bit or they, they've all broken. I'll share some of them with you guys So this Minota Hymatic F it hasn't broken, but I don't like to use it because I just don't like it uh, I had this Konica big uh, big mini Konica big mini and It broke after like a year of using it. I don't know what was wrong with it. I was in Hollywood, I think, and it just stopped working when I was taking photos of Hollywood sign. So I wanted to have a little change in scenery. <laughs> the next camera that I had was a Ricoh R1. Um, it broke after like a week of using it, but 
I did get it in a very used condition, in a very worn out condition. So that ex probably explains why it broke so quickly, but yeah, I, I just, I, I like to stick to Nikon, Nikon, Nikon. It, they're, they just last very long time. They, they are literally tank cameras. I can't explain any further. So before I go any further, I'm gonna pop myself a flaming hot Mountain Dew. <laughs> So here is the Ricoh R1 that broke after a week of use. Uh, it, I did have a light leak before it like malfunctioned and then it just completely did not work anymore. Um, here are the invincible cameras, the Nikons. Get a Nikon! This thing is actually pretty heavy, which I don't like about that, but it's a good camera. It's, it has phenomenal picture quality like the grain is just the right amount the lens is very sharp in this in this uh, camera and this Nikon L35 AD the, the, the lens is very sharp it's I, like I think that that's why it's so heavy because the lens is like it has a lot of parts to it but yeah I highly recommend this Nikon L35 AD I saw some other YouTubers use it and, and I had to get one myself, so it's been good. It's been a couple months, maybe a year now, but it's, it's a very good camera for street photography. Related to nature photography or other types of photography I do besides street, I do like to take this 105mm Nikkor lens. I forget if it was the 85 or the 105mm, the National Geographic photographer took a picture of an Afghan girl I'm pretty sure you guys will know recognize that image if you guys see it but he took it with the 105 or 85 I'm, I think it was the 105 but anyways this this lens is very sharp and good as well I did forget one more thing I like to carry my sling bag with me everywhere I go no matter whether I'm taking photos or not this is the long weekend pouch. I love this for film photography because uh, it, it, it has a divider in the middle so you can divide your your used film versus your new film. So I, I always carry my film in here. Can you guys see it? My film. It's a very useful bag and it's very durable. It's the long weekend, it's the long weekend pouch by another YouTuber. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Oh wait, like and subscribe. Peace.